In East Boston, police are adding more patrols at a local park as they investigate a death and an attack. Nicole Jacobs is live at Belle Isle Marsh Reservation with the details on what happened there. Nicole. Chris, the most recent incident happened just one week ago, and even at this hour, we're seeing state police vehicles here, as you see this one here behind me. But not only are they driving around, they're walking this entire stretch of the reservation after two incidents in broad daylight. Mary Cannon and her dog Peggy Sue make Belle Isle Marsh Reservation a part of their every day. I've been coming down here 25, 30 years with my dogs. But now there are concerns. Late morning Wednesday, Boston police and Massachusetts State Police patrol the area after two alarming incidents. May 29th, 83 year old Daniel Pepe was found with injuries so severe he could not communicate to authorities what happened to him. He died June 1st. He was a nice, sociable guy. And he talked to everybody. On the same day of his death, a 67 year old man from Lynn assaulted, he tells investigators, by a white man in his 20s or 30s. My friend was here when it happened, and uh, I was just wondering why it never showed up on the news. State police now answering the question of timing when it comes to informing the public. WBZ has learned they were not initially called for the May 29th incident, and it wasn't until Monday they determined the circumstances of both seemed similar. And so that was really strange that that happened in the middle of the day with everybody down here. And now, just as serene and peaceful as this area is, police are in the mix, and those who frequent have noticed. Yesterday I was down here, and it was a state cop car driving around inside the park, and then another state cop came out, and he was walking around the park. But many questions remain. Authorities stopping short of saying Pepe was assaulted and his death not yet ruled a homicide. Still, they're looking into a possible connection between the two. And taking a live look here at Belle Isle, you can see mounted patrol here as well from state police. Again, right now, authorities are only confirming one assault. They say the death of Pepe has not been ruled a homicide. They really need to know more about that incident before it's ruled a homicide or an actual assault. That's coming straight from state police. As for the June 1st assault, that suspect is still out there, and certainly anyone with information is urged to contact police. We're live in East Boston. Nicole Jacobs, WBZ News.